hello everyone welcome to jg chemistry class guys today we are going to learn about nitrogen rule which comes in my mass spectroscopy this is very important rule for the organic molecule which has nitrogen atoms so we will find uh, number of questions in the msc question papers like uh, what is nitrogen rule what is the uh, application of it or mention its significance explain it by suitable example so you can note this question uh, which comes uh, frequently so we'll see this topic in this video first uh, type of question i can explain here state and explain nitrogen rule how this rule is useful in a structural elucidation of organic compound so we will see what is nitrogen rule and how it is helpful for the structure elucidation so first nitrogen rule so it states that a molecule with odd molecular weight must contain odd number of nitrogen atom or if the molecular weight is even then it will have even number of nitrogen atom so very simple rule uh, if odd molecular weight odd number of nitrogen atom will be present if even number even molecular weight it will have even number of nitrogen this is applicable for the molecule is having nitrogen atoms we'll see example here you can see methylamine its molecular weight is 31 so let's say if you have unknown molecule a molecular formula is given to you or even if the molecular formula is not there an organic compound containing nitrogen and you have to find out how uh, uh, like uh, whether the number of nitrogens are odd or even so if you notice here the mass is odd then the number of nitrogen is going to be odd here you can notice it is 1 similarly for nitrobenzene you can notice the molecular weight is uh, 123 which is odd so we can say the unknown molecule is having one nitrogen so in such cases the uh, structure elucidation we have to do where we don't know what about the molecule only it is a nitrogen containing molecule and the molecular weight is given so with respect to that we can find number of nitrogen whether it is odd or even similarly another example 2,4 dinitrobenzene you can notice here you have a molecular weight which is 184 it is even so we should have even number of nitrogen that is either 2 4 6 like that and it has you can note two nitrogen atoms so very simple interpretation based on the molecular mass another important thing under this rule that the fragmentation at a single bond of even number molecular mass gives the odd number of fragment ion and the odd number of molecular mass will give you the even number of fragment ion so just opposite if you do the fragmentation of odd molecular weight it will give you even fragmentation and if you do the fragmentation of even molecular weight compound it will give you odd fragmentation ion so we'll see the example by taking the same nitrobenzene which is having the odd mass number 123 and it has two important fragment if you do here alpha cleavage that is no2 plus it gives you m by z 46 if you count the mass of nitrogen one and two oxygen 16 into 2 it is 46 which is even another one is no plus which is again m by z 30 so even fragmentation ion if you are getting that means you have a odd number of nitrogen atom or molecular mass means or number of nitrogen atom similarly another example two co dinitrobenzene you have even number of molecule mass on seeing the two important fragmentation ion it should have odd number of fragment ion so you can notice one is 183 and another is 155 both are odd 183 you are getting out of 184 because of loss of one that is hydrogen m minus h Uh, which is important uh, fragmentation ion in case of even here and uh, another is m minus h followed by the loss of carbonyl co which gives you 155 m by z so uh, the two important uh, significance or uh, you can notice the application or uh, the important information based on nitrogen rule that even molecular mass gives you the even number of nitrogen atom odd molecular mass give you odd number of nitrogen atom even molecular mass give you odd number of fragmentation and odd number of molecular mass gives you even number of fragmentation and in this way you can find out and it is going to help a lot for the structural elucidation of organic compounds 
so i hope you understood the nitrogen rule and if this question comes for you in your msc exam you write out the state the definition of it take these examples and explain it in the same way all the best for your exam see you in the